So hi, this is <laughs> wait, no, um, that's, 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 maybe I should have gotten rid of my bikini model. <laughs> uh, we'll pretend that doesn't exist. <laughs> Just don't look at that one. But this is my V-Road Studio. Um, V-Road Studio is. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, you drown it in glue and it works again. Nice. Was it like super glue? <laughs> oh dear. Hopefully you didn't like stick your hands to it as well, because that's the kind of thing I would do. Um, so yes, this is the... <laughs> oh dear. This is my Vero Studio. Uh, Vero Studio is free on Steam. Uh, you can search it in the Steam store, Vero Studio, or you can search it uh, just on, on general web search, uh, and you can download it from the site directly uh, for free. Um, but then I think you've got to like update um, you gotta manually get the updates yourself then, um, whereas I think maybe with Steam, I'm assuming with Steam the updates are just sent directly to Steam and will update. When there's an update, uh, you just made your desk into a horrible mess. Oh god, I've had that before, I got super glue on my desk, and my desk is like, slightly textured. I have an Ikea desk, so it's slightly textured, so um, getting that off was a nightmare, and I didn't really, <laughs> and then I had to basically just paint some black paint <laughs> over, over the mess. <laughs> And now there's a weird smooth patch on my desk, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> so yes, Vero Studio is completely free and it gives you a base. So if you press new, you can sort of create, you get a, you get a base, you can pick male or female, and that gives you like a humanoid base um, to create your model from. Um, and it's, it's sort of very simple in the way that you can, um, uh, you can just adjust like, things. You can't like make anything too too crazy with v -Road Studio. So if you wanted a model that is not quite humanoid, uh, you wouldn't be able to do it in v -Road Studio. You'd have to use uh, another uh, another 3D modeling tool. Um, but v -Road Studio is really easy because it basically gives you a base model and rigs it for you. So you don't have to figure out how to rig things. Um, <laughs> you don't have to figure out Blender and all that. Um, so that is pretty good. So basically, I use Fever Studio. I got someone to make my original model for me, which was Witch Ferret over here. And because I <laughs> I, I went with a complicated design and knew nothing about Fever Studio. Um, so they created Witch Ferret, um, which is great. Uh, you can find a lot of like people on Fiverr that do sort of Vroid Studio work, uh, be careful because Fiverr is full of people who are trying to get your money and not give you anything in return. <laughs> Especially when it comes to looking for like VTuber models. Like a lot of like the 2D people on VTube, they're, they're, they're pretty scammy on, on VTube, on, on Fiverr, they're pretty scammy. Um, <laughs> so be careful with that. Um, but yes. So I got my original model commissioned, I got my second outfit commissioned, and then the rest I've just been changing here, there, and everywhere. Agent Ferret, I did the outfit complete myself, um, which was a nightmare, um, but she came out quite well. Um, so I am learning how to do things. I did the fringe myself, the hair myself, um, the agent with the fluffy hair, exactly, whatever gaming, she's the fluffy hair one, where her hair, like, swings. Instead, my ears kind of, like, swing now. <laughs> So yes, we're gonna do Summer Ferret. So, I've already made, <laughs> I've already made like a, a, a base model for this, um, because honestly, figuring all this stuff out is, <laughs> is a bit of a nightmare and it took me hours to do the hair. <laughs> um, and even then, I, ugh, we'll get into it, we'll get into it. So, basically, how I made Summer Ferret, I went into my classic ferret, the one I'm wearing right now, um, I went to do this, and I'm gonna take you through, like, step by step what I did, and then we'll switch over to Summer Ferret, who's already completed, <laughs> um, and we'll fiddle around a bit with, with that, because I've got to put shoes on her, I forgot shoes. So this is me, <laughs> that's, that's me, um, I turned the wrong way, wait, that's me, um, <laughs> I would draw a stick figure and go with it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that would be far easier. As you can see, I have two sets of ears, and that's currently how I'm making my ears work um, when they go up and down. Uh, it's because I'm, like, hiding 
which one I don't want you to see. Um, so for the moment, let's take off. Uh, let's hide the other set of ears. So this is classic, classic ferret. My my casual ferret. She's she's looking pretty good. This is her full body, which you don't actually get to see here. <laughs> it's very rare you see her full body. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe someday. Uh, she does have arms. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is great. Uh, I know if Smile was here, he'd be like, mm, she doesn't have arms. She never has arms. <laughs> she does. She has arms. She has arms right here. Look at these hands. Um, no streamer has legs. <laughs> it's very true. Um, <laughs> unless they're in a hot tub, in which case <laughs> they, they seem to have a lot of legs. Um, <laughs> but yes, she she's wearing some nice socks. So I got this model, uh, I got the outfit done for me, and I did the, the someone did the ears as well for me, because I tried. I have tried to make my own outfit, I sort of mocked it up myself, and it turns out, uh, it, it was a bit rough. Um, you should get a discount on the characters, just need 50% of it. <laughs> yeah, I just need the top half of my character, because you're never going to see, I don't even need the arms, take the arms off. <laughs> I mean, I probably could actually get rid of the arms if I wanted to, but they're there in case I do actually <laughs> manage to get myself a leap motion at some point. Um, so yes, this is B Road Studio. As you can see, these are like all the editors. So the face editor. <gasps> but what any, what any future DTR streams? Juris, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I that, that's why she has a full body. Um, <laughs> just so in the future. We we could do anything crazy like that. <laughs> one day. One day. <laughs> oh dear. So yes, this is how you like edit anything. So basically I can make her eyes, her ears like move. Um I can adjust I'm not gonna adjust any of this too much because I don't wanna I don't wanna mess mess her up. But yeah, obviously you can like make eye distance and just go woo. <laughs> so it's very it's very basic. Um just do that in After Effects. <laughs> yeah, just, just just like Photoshop the arms and legs on. Um, it's very basic. The, the thing that's not so basic is the hair. So this is all the hair, and I think she still has the witch hat on this model. She does. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I took her glasses off by accident. Oh, is that the right one? Let's get rid of the witch hat. There we go. <laughs> so the hair, you can do anything with the hair. As, as seen, her, her hat is made out of hair, um, <laughs> which is very strange. Her glasses also made out of hair, um, <laughs> and they're basically just made by changing the texture of the hair. So in here, I've got all my hair textures. Um, if we find the one with glasses, where is it? This is the glasses one. If we go to the full image, the hair texture is just glasses. <laughs> so that means you can basically just, you can put hair anywhere on your model, and then you can change the texture, so you can make it like glasses, or you can make it, you know, like a balloon, for instance. Um, <laughs> which we'll get to at some point, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Oh, can't read text anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's true. <laughs> Just take glasses off. Oh no, I can't see what I'm doing. Um, so that's how we do anything with hair. And we'll get back into that a bit later when I put the new hairstyle on her. Um, body editor, very simple. Again, it's just a bunch of sliders um, and you can edit the texture. Um, maybe I shouldn't have gone into the texture because that's her naked body and that's a bit weird. Let's get get off that before it changes. Please don't... Oh, I've, <laughs> I've crashed the program. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Um, no, no nudity here, no nudity here. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't. She, I don't think she's wearing a bra at the moment. Um, so let's not mess around with the body texture. Um, I'm noticing the theme of balloons. Honestly, it happened on my very first stream that someone knocked on my door and I had to like be hobby. <laughs> um, I went downstairs and I opened the door and they were like, "I'm here for the balloons." And I'm like, "Uh, what? <laughs> balloons?" Uh, and they're like. Oh, sorry, bye. And then I came back up and whatever gaming was here and he's he's loved that story ever since. <laughs> um, yeah, this literally whatever gaming said hi in my chat and there's a knock on the door happened. So I had to like put him on a BRB screen, which was terrible for him, but thankfully he stuck around. 
<laughs> and he came back to the balloon story. Um, so that's why <laughs> the most legendary stream moment I saw. Yeah, that's why uh, <laughs> we mention balloons a lot here. I'm actually thinking of working on like a balloon outfit where she put like a t-shirt on that has like a balloon and like she holds a balloon. It'd be great. Maybe her hair is just balloons. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> So yeah, we got the whole body. It's basically a bunch of sliders. I can make her like shorter. Bye. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. We can make her shorter. Um, <laughs> or, or you know, taller. Like she's supposed to be. She's supposed to be like an actual like humanoid, <laughs> not this. What is this? <laughs> she's a child now. Um, isn't there a costume you can order which looks like a big balloon? <laughs> What if I just giant hair texture that has like a cutout for the face that's just a balloon and we wear that? <laughs> Clothing editor. Clothing editor is the interesting one. So basically there's a bunch of presets like hoodie, dress, this. So if you click on them, it comes up like this. So this is your preset. Um, I'm still with Glim Loon. <laughs> that would be cool. Um, and then basically you go in, you edit the texture of this, and you make it whatever you want it to be. So the original hoodie, where's the original hoodie? Let's have a look. Hoodie. This is the original hoodie that um that is on Vroid. So uh this is way different than what you see. Also, apparently the tassels are glitching into a chest, which is unfortunate. Uh, it does look pretty comfy. Um, but with texture alone, just with adjusting this texture here and the racing parts oh no her body's there can we get rid of this body <laughs> the look it's fine um okay so just with editing this texture here so if you erase parts of it say we'll bring a big brush um to, let's let's erase like say the arm okay apparently i'm not on the right texture if we erase the arm it gets rid of it completely um, stream blocked for showing naked skin. Look, it's not even real skin. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, you can basically adjust any any model you want. Um, the mesh stays the same, so you can't adjust any bit of the mesh uh, other than what adjustment it gives you. But you can do things like that. So if we go back to design, and I pop the edited hoodie on, that's how we've got this. So that's the basic hoodie, and then the front bit was like cut out and a t-shirt was placed in its place so that's how we have like a lovely open hoodie um and basically you can make like the hood size smaller uh no matter what you want to do you can have creases in the arms or not um if you're trying to like make it into something else um it's a uh, it's all it's all very intuitive so the t-shirt is part of the hoodie texture yeah exactly the t-shirt is just like we've gotten rid of this bit of the hoodie texture and this bit here and then we've made that into just a t-shirt so that's just painted on um and you can do your painting <coughs> sorry my voice is going you can do the painting in um in figure studio itself or you can click over here if we go to default image we can click export so that will export it hopefully into we've got a bunch of body textures in here so it exports it as a png you can import that into any any editing software that you have um oh apparently my my <laughs> my my file loader doesn't show up which is probably for the best um <laughs> but yes you can basically just take that into any like photoshop or clip studio paint or any paint program that you have um adjust it yourself in any way that you want as you can see the artist that did this for me put like three different colors here and they were like these are all the texture colors and then they did they did some lovely lovely texturing work and then you basically just import it back in by you know right clicking import import the png in um it doesn't have to be the same name it just has to be in png um and then it'll appear over here and you can layer things so you can like pop a different layer on so um you could you know layer the t-shirt but it won't look any different um <laughs> We could like not have had that and had the t-shirt on a different layer, but it's not going to look any different. It's not going to like add extra to the model. It's just going to be the exact same. So yeah. Also, it's nice. You could like paint directly on to the model if you want to do it this way. So like I can, that's like the original like hoodie shape. You see, I'm filling it all back in. Um, obviously, we don't want that. So that's that. And then we've got general editor, which is like stuff like 
if you want your outline. So if we put an outline on here, it looks a bit dodgy. Um, it doesn't look great. Um, but obviously she's got an outline on her face and on her arms, but we can take those off. And she'd look, she looks weirdly, weirdly smooth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm always torn about whether I want the outline or not. Um, and it just, it, it looks very strange. Um, I don't remember what that was set to, but it's okay. I'm not going to save this file. <laughs> then you've got stuff like Grimlight, which honestly never is never good. Don't. Do <sighs> the outline does look better. Yeah, it, it does, but I don't like how like sort of jaggedy it looks in places. Um. <laughs> that's my only issue um never use rim light because it's just it just it, no one can make it look good <laughs> doesn't look good you can add shading eye alignment so you can align her eyes you know if you don't want her eyes to be like that you can like you know subtly subtly move them about um which is interesting and honestly i've never played with this before um <laughs> weird um and then you go into like bones um which is honestly another one that i've never dabbled in um you can you can just basically i'm assuming adjust the bones in like the body and the clothing so that would make things make her move more or less um the only bones that i've done um that i've played around with is the hair bones <laughs> which is a whole complicated mess um <laughs> Hair bones are difficult, but there is bones in her ears now, so my ears wiggle slightly when I move. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh, so yes, and then we also have camera and exporter over here, which is very it, it explains everything. You can it's, it's a camera, so you can like get her to pose in certain ways. Um, you know, you can add any of the emotions that you've put on. Uh, you can change the background. You can do pose and animation. So like you know. She'll start to sort of be animated. So if you wanted to like do GIFs and things, you can take them through this software. Um, and yeah, it's it's very interesting. Like she, <laughs> there's some very strange animations. Um, walking and running, really useful for when you're setting hair bones. So when you're setting hair bones, you can see how they move. So obviously here we have hair bones on the hair. You can see it subtly jiggle around. Um, which is what we want. And then running, you can see it in like more of an extreme version. And her ears go a bit weird when she's running. But let's face it, I'm never going to be running. So <laughs> we don't need to care about that. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is Vroid basically. And it's all very interesting. So today we're going to do a summer outfit. Never run yet. <laughs> Uh, one day, one day, if I can afford full body tracking, what if any zombies get into your rainy room? Then I just like slowly fade away, <laughs> slowly like just back away. <laughs> I have to like skate away because <laughs> I don't have legs. I don't even have arms. Uh, I can't. I couldn't fight a zombie if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just put my witch out and just like you know stab them with it. Right, so, for the summer outfit, I've already picked out a few textures. Um, I got the textures from Booth. Booth.pm. It's a Japanese website. If you search Vroid on there, you can find a bunch of, like, either free or fairly cheap textures that you can import into Vroid. Um, obviously check the description of all of them, but most of them say that they're okay for, like, VTuber models, etc. Um, most of them are okay for personal use and commercial use, um, but the only thing... The ones that I've got, the only thing they say is just don't resell them, which makes sense <laughs> and is a bit of a dick move if you decide to do that. So today I'm going to go into clothing editor and I'm going to put, I think, I think it works best on a dress which has short sleeves. So we're going to pop her in the, in the basic dress. <laughs> um put clothes on through that program <laughs> if only uh, and then i'm gonna pop over to textures so here we'll have this will change and we'll have the basic dress texture so i'm gonna import what i've currently got um let me just 
think it's in body textures. Summer outfits, here we go. And I'm gonna import this one. So now she has a nice summery top on. Um, <laughs> and as you can see, uh, the reason I'm not doing like the textures myself and live is uh, A, I'm no good at textures, <laughs> and B, it would take forever. Um, and here on this stream, I'm just trying to explain um, what I'm doing and how I how I do my models. Um, maybe maybe at some point in the future we can have like fancy fancy art streams where I try and make new outfits. Um, super cute outfit. It is, isn't it? This like t-shirt is very cute. Um, I picked up a few more. Shall I just pop them on? We'll we'll go through them. Uh, I picked up this cute dress, which I think isn't this texture actually, so it might balk. Um, it's a cute dress, but I feel like there's too much like texture going on with it. <laughs> Um, it's a bit too, bit too much. Um, <laughs> but it's it's quite a nice little dress, and it's quite a. There's a lot of noise there. Exactly. I feel like it's a bit, bit too much. Um, <laughs> but it's it's a very cute texture. And then I have I grabbed this butterfly top one, which is a very cute butterfly top. And this was done by Argama Witch on YouTube. She's a VTuber. <clears throat> and she does, she 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 sells a lot of textures and things, uh, and she's got a lot of free basic textures, um, cosplay outfit. <laughs> this is a very like very cute dress. I don't think she's supposed to be wearing shorts under it, but honestly, if she wasn't wearing anything under it, that would be a bit revealing. <laughs> not sure I like the rose on it. Yeah, the rose. Not sure I like that either. But we could just like get rid of that. Um, <laughs> but it's a very cute dress. The rose looks amazing, I love it. <laughs> oh, mixed opinions in chat here. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the rose, honestly, but it does it does look good. Like the texture work on that is pretty good. Um but yes, it's a it's a beautiful dress, but it's not what we're going with. Um as a tattoo, okay, but uh yeah. Maybe. I mean, it obviously wouldn't work in real life, because that'd be a bit strange. <laughs> I guess it'd have to be like printed on mesh. But I'm going to go back to the t-shirt. We do have another style of t-shirt that I picked up. Um, this one. Which looks quite cute as well. Um, I'm going with a bit of blue theme, apparently. Um, <laughs> move it to a sleeve texture and make it a tattoo. Oh, Fuzzy But Gaming is on Twitch and says, indeed, indeed. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, just glue a real rose on it works fine. <laughs> Oh, but yes, I picked up uh, I picked up a pack that was like a bunch of like cute clothing and skirts and things. Um, we've got different different colors of the the t-shirt that I put on. Um, I think the blue works best, honestly. I feel like my model she doesn't have much color going on. Um, <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna get rid of the socks because the socks they're not particularly summery at the moment. Make sure you play some seal in the background. <laughs> oh dear. Um. But yes, so let's go back to the one that I chose. I mean, I suppose we could have a grey or black. Um, <laughs> there's no like purple, which is unfortunate. This is the closest I can get to purple, <laughs> which kind of clashes with the uh, the shorts a bit too much. So let's import the lighter one. There we go. The sock sucks. <laughs> so she has a nice, cute summery top on now which is great. So we're going to go into body editor now. Like, look, I promise no one's going to report me for nudity. <laughs> I mean, I could always export it and change the color hue to purple, but I could also, I think, do that through unity um, a bit later and I can uh, change it. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we'll try it. Um, so, yeah. We're gonna go into body texture to get rid of the uh, <laughs> the socks. Now, no one report me, please. <laughs> it's not it's not nudity. You like can't see anything. It's just a texture. <laughs> also, she's got this weird thing on her head. <laughs> I tried. She's got a gap in her hair, and I tried to like blend it in, um, but it didn't really work. So I'm gonna import a standard body texture without the socks. <laughs> it's a desert map. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Oh, she appears to have 
some bits on her leg. I guess the original texture missed that, so that might be on a layer somewhere. Yep, that's on that layer. Toggle visibility. We'll toggle the other layers off. So we just want the basic body skin. There we are. She's got no socks on anymore. Oh. <laughs> Never noticed that before. Um. Uh, she doesn't have any soles on her shoes. <laughs> Fuzzy but gaming. <laughs> what, <laughs> what an emote. <laughs> Um, that's why I got a problem with my socks, they have my skin. <laughs> Look, it's the only way to do socks in Vraid. Right? Um, right, so she's got her basic skin on, and actually I need to go into... I need to zoom in, I need to colour pick her hair. I need to paint this. Is it even painting, or am I on... Oh, I'm painting on the wrong layer, that's why. I need to paint this. Ooh, that's a bit too... not orange. <laughs> Paint this so the gap in her hair, you won't see it as as much. And um, that's why she doesn't run anymore. <laughs> she doesn't run because her legs are just socks. <laughs> They're a bit too floppy. Right, so if I paint this over, we just add that in. And you shouldn't... As you can see, you can very like clearly see, like... Uh, let me get this back. Here. Oh, no, it, try, it wants to try and like paint. Here. Just, just just, below the cursor is a gap in her hair, which I've tried to fix and I can't without ruining her entire hair. Um, so instead, we just try and blend it in. <laughs> we just blend it in. Um, I hope I'm not on the front page right now because, God, we don't need this on the front page. <laughs> so we'll go off skin texture. <laughs> you never know with Glamesh these days. They're <laughs> just like, I'll put you on the front page for the most inappropriate stream. <laughs> just put a post-it on it. <laughs> Just, just, just hide it. Um, right. So, we've got that sorted out. She's got a nice summer top on. She's got the shorts. We're going to keep the shorts, because they're already very summery. Um, but these shoes, these heels that don't have a base on, um, <laughs> these heels, not very summery, aren't they? So, let's go into clothing editor again. There's enough other streams that you were not orangey. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> um. You're the only educational stream, so anyone clicking on through this is this question for content. Oops. Um, uh, links? LCYX. <laughs> Just followed the stream. Thank you for the follow. Um, I appreciate it. But yes, if anyone... It's Licks. Ah, thank you for correcting me. So, so many people just let me mispronounce their name. <laughs> Forever. Um... <laughs> But yes, okay, Lix, thank you for the follow, Lix. I really appreciate it. Um, but yes, I am the only educational stream, so there's that. Um, my name is intentionally bad. <laughs> okay. Fuzzy Butt on Twitch came for the ears, to be honest. I mean, she does have cute ears. <laughs> oh. Right, so we need to go into shoes. Uh, her shoes are mini t-shirt, apparently. Soul height, ooh. Can... Whoa! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> she can get a bit of height. <laughs> I've never messed around with shoes before because I've always been happy with, oh, the body texture's back. Technically, she does have four ears. <laughs> yeah, she's got four ears. Um, shoes. We'll go into shoes and I will import a cute sandal design that I picked up, um, also from Booth. Um, let's try the brown ones. See if they work. Also, front braid just due to roll between. Five and fifteen minutes, so depending on when these triggers. Uh, uh, I think you'll be on the front page. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Apparently, this texture didn't work. Oh, there we go. There we are. Oh, oh, oh. These don't work particularly well on these types of shoes. Okay, we're gonna have to change the shoes. Also, hi, Noble. How are you doing? Um. Okay. Front page is due to change. Um. Yeah, go match the straw. Small. Um. We know that. I, I, I've been on the front page a fair bit in the like month that I've been streaming here but that's just because the lack of like streams um I don't know if it tries to like pick from certain categories okay so these shoes shoe textures <laughs> don't work on this current shoe so I'm gonna have to try and find the, the shoe that I do work on um which I don't know what that's gonna be <laughs> um We'll we'll have a see. Um, which looks like they could be a sandal. That doesn't look like it's gonna be a sandal. Maybe that. Maybe this. 
Um, it's pure random. Ah. It's pure random at the moment, which is interesting. Maybe the flat shoes. We'll try these ones. Um, uh, the fun fact is, summer is going to be temperatures rising. You get your nice summer outfit, but stay in a room in front of a PC. <laughs> yeah, but at least my character looks like she's having fun in summer. <laughs> right, so we'll go to default image and we'll import the sandal and hope it works on this one. Nope. <laughs> Nope. Okay. We missed again. Right. What's going to be the sandal texture? I should have... I should have looked up. Um, do we have, like... Uh, there's loafers. There's these. There's more loafers. There's heels, which... I don't think it's going to be... Sneakers. Basketball sneakers. <laughs> High cut sneakers. Good as me. More loafers. <laughs> Um, working on shoes while never showing them. Look, it's just in case, you know, <laughs> maybe I decide to just, like, spend all of my money on VR and then we can walk around the room um, and you'll see my shoes. Um, right, so I'm going to have to, one moment, one moment, guys, I'm going to have to, uh, to just go over to Booth um, and check to see, uh, just in case, what, you jump through the roof? <laughs> um, you think that if they were designing these with the app in mind, they'd let you know what base model it's from. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna try and find the shoes that I picked up. Um, I think I searched for your shoes. <laughs> I didn't bookmark it because I just grabbed texture and didn't think about what texture I was gonna need. Like an idiot. <laughs> um, or in case you just, oh, yeah, exactly. Look, I could just be... It could just be a foot stream. Look, look, we'll do it. We'll do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, there we go. VTuber foot stream. Here we are. <laughs> you can look at my feet while I find the shoes. <laughs> um, DJ just followed the stream. Thank you for the follow. Also, <laughs> I'm sorry you've appeared for this. This is too weird for me, said the Swix. Look, if you can't handle this kind of weird, um, <laughs> Then I, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> that timing. <laughs> He's here for the feet. He clearly is. Anyway, let's let's get me back. <laughs> let's get me back down. I'm gonna have to like reposition her. <laughs> Wait, that's a bit too low. Bit higher. Bit too high. There we go. <laughs> right. I'll go back to looking for the shoes, which I can't find. Um. Apparently there's roller skates. Oh my god, I can wear roller skates. <laughs> VTuber hot tub stream when? No. <laughs> I do. The thing is, you missed me opening v Studio. And um, actually, there is. <laughs> I do have a bikini model. It's not this current model. I Don't don't worry, I haven't like perverted Ferret at all. Um, <laughs> I made a new model <laughs> and she's in a bikini. But we're not going to look at that at all. Um... Right, I can't find the shoes, so we're just gonna have to deal with no shoes, and I'll fix that uh, later on. <laughs> um, we got this co also bear bikini. Yeah, we got bear bikini covered. Uh, bear in a bikini, classic. That's a classic here. Um, anyway, so I can't fix the shoes, so she'll just have to wear like heels <laughs> for a little while. Um, there we go. That looks that looks fairly summery. Uh, next up is the hair. Now the hair. I heard bikini say what? <laughs> Fuzzy gaming. <laughs> Fuzzy butt gaming. It's just like, bikini? Did someone did someone say bikini? <laughs> bikini riding a duck? A hot dog? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. It's chaos. The stream has descended into chaos and I'm not even- I'm trying to- I'm, Guys, I'm trying to be educational here. <laughs> we knew- We knew this was gonna happen. We knew I couldn't do like a proper stream. Um, so. I'll just wait for the balloon. <laughs> the, the bikini is just made out of balloons. Um, so here we have a bunch of hair presets. Now, I don't remember what preset I wanted. Um, balloon wearing a bikini. Sold. I'm sold. We'll do it. <laughs> so this is my original preset hair. I have a hair in mind. So there was a nice... That's a pretty cute hair, to be honest. These are hairs that I've grabbed, once again, from Booth, um, which is a great place to get 
all your V-Ray textures. Uh, that is the base that I used for like the, the floofy hair that uh, Whatever Gaming likes a lot. Um, I like that one. It, it's quite a cute hair. Um, it's the wrong colour. For some reason, that defaulted it to the wrong colour. Um, this one. Here we go. This is the kind of cute hair that I was going for. Um, yeah, it's a bit more red, um, unfortunately. So this is this is the hair that I was going for. Um, and I've planned this out. I've planned this out for a while. I've grabbed this hairstyle for ages, since I started. I was originally like, do I want the witch hat with this hair? Or do I want, like, uh, something, something that's nicer? Now, if anyone watches Hello Live English, <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll know that this week they've been doing costume changes. So they all have new outfits. And, um, the one, the one, the one ginger VTuber, um, Kiara, she decided she was going to have braids, much like this, and cat ears. So now I'm like, oh. <laughs> if all of a sudden my new model has this, and someone who likes Hollow Live happens to come in, they're gonna be like, you're copying Kiara. <laughs> so that 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 happened. Um, but I think this hair was all set up. I think she's got like the the sets of ears and everything. So I decided that I was going to, instead of having two braids, she was just gonna have one. So this is all the hair. <laughs> you can click on every strand of hair. This is made up of like so many strands of hair. Um, the glasses don't particularly work <laughs> well, but I have tried to like, they're glued to her face, yeah. <laughs> I did try and like extend it, um, but it didn't look as good. So for now, my glasses just hover. <laughs> uh, it's easy to switch clothing, or is it easy to switch clothing or edit the size to fit your model? Um, it is, yeah. It's 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 all um currently in V Road. It's all textures, so the mesh immediately fits to your model. Um, Ina is probably my favorite, and she's at least try hard to be lewd. Yeah. <laughs> That's a that's a theme I've been noticing with VTubers. Um, there's a lot of lewd content out there, and that's interesting. Um, it's, it's very it it makes me feel a bit weird. <laughs> uh, which is why we're not doing any of that here. Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, I do I do like Hollow Live. Um, Callie's my favorite. Um, because she she's just like <laughs> wait lewd content on the internet exactly, but. It, it's running rampant in the VTuber community. Um, basically, you either have the wholesome VTubers or you've got the lewd ones, and the lewd ones are probably the majority of the VTuber community at the moment. <laughs> so, what I did here, it is it is a bit of a shame. Um, like there are some, like, you know, Hollow Live, it's not as bad with, um, because obviously they're, they're managed by this big company um, in Japan. Um, so, you know, they probably have more rules and restrictions than others. Um, but there is a, a, a currently a VTuber company out there that um, is, is exclusively lewd content. <laughs> and, and my YouTube recommended is polluted by it. And it's always like, you know, you get a video recommended that's like, here's, here's this VTuber saying something about sex. And you're like, I didn't want this. <laughs> So, basically, I decided to take everything out. So I just clicked on it and clicked delete. And it's really easy to edit the hair. And by really easy, it's really easy to remove bits of the hair. Putting bits of the hair back on, that's a different story. So I did all that. So we we had a, a one braid ferret. So let me, I'm going to have to switch back over to uh, just chatting for a moment. Oh, I'm a bit tall now. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly I didn't adjust it after the feet stream. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, let me quit Vroid and um, open up my finished model. Um, <laughs> so let me see. Botan will always be your number one. I don't think I've heard of them. <laughs> so, right, I'm opening up Summer Ferret. Let's go back to here. Oh, has it not, has it not? Grab VTube, please, please, VRoid Studio, please. Hello? He oh, OBS, do you wanna, do you wanna do, do your thing? Unknown, apparently it's unknown. This one then. 
There we go. <laughs> classic. Classic OBS. Drawing a stick figure. <laughs> so, here we have the finished Summer Ferret. Uh, she still does not have the shoes, because I never got around to the shoes. <laughs> um, but, as you can see, she's one braid. And I fixed the hair to be one braid. And you can tell that I've done the back of the hair, because it's slightly wonky in places. <laughs> um, it's not it's not it's not the best um <laughs> which is which is interesting um so yeah from the front which is pretty much all you're gonna see and i've noticed there's a weird like bit up here what's this what is this weird that is clearly a hair that's not fitting correctly um but well, well it's fine no one's gonna notice that but me so here she is um the glasses as i said i tried to draw them so they look like they're touching her ears, but it didn't look right at all. Um, it just kind of like made the glasses look like they had sort of wings that pointed out. Um, and no matter how, how hard I tried to do it um, correctly, didn't work. <laughs> so for now, her glasses just hover on her face. She's got the ears, and I believe if I go into hair editor, she's set up with the two sets of ears. Or not. I don't know what freehand groups I've just turned on. Oh, oh, I've turned on a group that messes things up. <laughs> um, okay, so she's not set up for two lots of ears. That's fine. I guess I can show you how I set her up for two lots of ears. So, basically, these ears, currently, very good. So, if we just duplicate... Didn't want to duplicate it like that. If I duplicate this entire thing... Duplicate, we have a new freehand group down here. At least, I don't think... No, no, not of these freehand groups. These freehand groups can be deleted now, because they're not... They're currently not in use. They're the old bits of the old hair that I took out. Um, so we can delete these freehand groups. And basically, the hair's all on different groups, so you can, like, adjust it separately. And honestly, it should all be named, but... <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I suck at naming things <laughs> as I'm going, so it's not named, so I don't know what's what, but we're gonna name, these are gonna be down ears, one, so that's the outside bit of the ears, and then if we duplicate the inside bit of the ears as well, here we go, rename, two, down, ears, two, right, so now she has two sets of ears, which is... Ferrets aren't known for their naming skills. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> uh, so, here we have down ears. Now, in order to make them look like I moved them down, I manipulated the hair mesh slightly. Um, I think I grabbed this one and I brought it down a bit. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna hide the original ears so we can actually see what we're doing. Now, if I grab these and bring it is this what I did? I don't remember what I did. Was it this one I grabbed? Nope. <laughs> Do you ever just, like, not remember what you did? <laughs> right, so now it looks like her ears are down. Um, but obviously, this bit isn't correct anymore. So we'll do the exact same thing with that. We'll drag it down a bit so it looks like it's correct. And she's got the pink ears again, but now apparently this side is incorrect so did i set mirror on let's have a see no i didn't have mirror on right we're gonna grab we're gonna grab mirror <laughs> uh, and then we mirror it down so the ears come down and then we'll mirror this one down as well right so now she has a set of ears that are down and honestly they look a bit wonky but <laughs> for the purpose of this tutorial they'll do They'll do fine, and I can fix them a bit later. And honestly, I don't know why she didn't have the other set of ears already on there, because she should have. Um, so then we have the original ears and the down ears. And you know what? I didn't bring them down nearly enough as I should have, but it's okay. Um, is it okay? No, it's not okay. We'll readjust this. Um, we will readjust the mesh. Where about is, is the mesh? Is this the one that I'm pulling? Yes. So let's put an original ear on so we can see how much they moved. Okay, so that moved a fair bit, which is what we're after. 
And then once again, if I like grab this and manipulate it around so it doesn't look so weird, there we go. Here we have two sets of ears. And now it definitely does look like they've moved. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice again, apparently. How annoying, I'll just take a drink. Remember to keep hydrated. <laughs> <clears throat> so we pretty much have the finished summer model, apart from the shoes, but we'll deal with that later. Um, <laughs> so next thing we do is go into bones. So obviously the original ears have bones. Uh, these new ears that I put on, they don't have bones. <gasps> Fuzzy but gaming is now follow. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it. I'm glad you are you're enjoying the stream enough to follow. <laughs> Even with all the chaos and the feet. <laughs> so, adding bones in is how we get the movement on the hair. So how the hair swishes from side to side. So basically, I'm gonna separate them into different gro bone groups. Um and then I'm going to bring the bone count down to one because we don't want them to be, we don't want them to move too much. So I generally move it down to this and I just put stiffness at 40 and that seems to be all right. And I'm going to create another bone group for the other ear and do the same for that. Nope, <laughs> I moved stiffness as well. Stiffness, 40. And then move that. Right, so if we go into exporter now, we should, if we make her walk, both her ears should be jumping up and down. Yep, there we go. Now they look a bit weird at the moment because uh, obviously she's got two pairs of ears on. Girl Man Gaming is on Twitch. Hi, how are you doing today? You having a good day? I'm doing. I'm doing some educating. <laughs> um, it's it's going well. So as you see, her hair it subtly moves. Uh, the braid subtly moves a bit. The braid is the most annoying bit for me to try and figure out. But obviously, it'd be very heavy, so it's not going to move as much as, like, say, her fringe would when she's walking. Because there's a lot of hair there. Um, the braid is an issue. Um, so the braid currently has, if we go into bone texture, bone group. What's this? Oh my god, she does have the ears. <laughs> Wait, did I put extra ears in for no reason? Where are these ears? I'd love to know. Oh, they were this freehand. It's because I didn't name anything. Sweet baby Jesus. Right, well, we'll delete these extra ears that I made, because I made them subpar. Um, uh, um, ears? Ears? What? That's not ears. That's ears. Then where's the middle part of the ears? Did I not, like, duplicate the middle part of the ears? Or is the middle part... Sorry, guys, I'm confused. No, she doesn't have the middle part to her ears. Huh. <laughs> Go on gaming, she sure does her ankles how lewd. <laughs> I did. Uh, you missed that. It was... Look, I had shoes on. <laughs> I just found my character a wonderful stick. <laughs> Next stream, how to name everything. Yeah, I need that. Did I accidentally delete... Sweet Jesus, did I accidentally delete the ears? <laughs> when I was like deleting freehand groups that I think that I thought I hadn't named. Right, we'll do it with just down ears and that's fine. Um we'll add that in. Um bones. There's a bunch of bones hidden now. I'm confused. I'm so confused. I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> right. That's that 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 that? Where's the extra bone group I added? Confusion.com <laughs> You'd think- you'd think I'd name these things, but I didn't. Oh, ankles! <laughs> right, so here we have the original. Um, That's fine. So they've all got bones in. Uh, the braid is what I was talking about, wasn't it? Obviously, I haven't named the braid, so I don't know which group that's in. <laughs> Which group is the braid in? <laughs> Please. Is it is it this one? It's this one. So the braid is an issue because obviously it's it's over her chest. Um and it's got a lot of like area of ferret that it can interact with. 
So I was having issues with the braid, unfortunately, glitching into a chest <laughs> um, when I tested this. So I've added, uh, it's got a uh, 0.01 hit radius, which means it will try not to collide with anything. Anything more than that, and it does weird physics things. Um, there's a lot of like, you just have to basically mess around with the bone parameters <laughs> until you get what you're looking for. Um, she's got slightly a bit of gravity on. It was the gravity that was causing an issue. So obviously the braid needs gravity because I want it to like sort of stay down. I want it to like, you know, when she's tilting her head side to side, I want it to like look like gravity's pulling it down. Makes sense, right? But the gravity was pulling it down too far and pulling it down into her chest. <laughs> So it's on 0 0.07, which which gives it a bit of gravity. Not as much as I'd have liked, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, the braid, such... Without gravity, will it float around? No. Without gravity, it just stays in place, basically. Um, <laughs> it'll stay in the place that you put it. Um, which, it which, which, <laughs> which can be fine. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no gravity doesn't mean it's, it's just going to float. <laughs> I mean, maybe with like a giant hit radius, it would. Yep, see, now now it's doing it. See, as you can see, its hit radius is way bigger than the actual model itself. So it's just gonna float. <laughs> um, but that's that's what you can do if you want floating hair. <laughs> we'll go back into hair and, and re-edit that bone. Uh, bone group 55, apparently. Uh, let's put it back down. So we just want a bit of gravity. So it doesn't glitch in, and a bit of a uh, bit of whatever it's called. <laughs> um. So yes, we have we have ferret. Her ears clearly move. <clears throat> her uh, her her new outfit is on. Uh, she doesn't have the sh she doesn't have the sandals on at the moment, but she's looking fine. So she's looking she's looking okay for this for this test run. So obviously she's 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 all good. Um, now I go into export. Export's the, uh, the interesting bit. What? What is this? Why is this pink? What's happened? <laughs> I feel like I've broken her. <laughs> but oh well. We'll, <laughs> we'll export. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Wait, I think, do I have... Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up... You can see bits and bobs. Um... Yeah, I already have her exported, um, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think I have exported her with her double ears. I, uh, I don't know what's going on with those ears. What do you mean export with the ears like that? Why did I suddenly change colour? Uh, I'm just going to assume that's a weird, <laughs> a weird V-Roy glitch and we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, so we go over here, you can like reduce the polygons, reduce the material, reduce the bones, um, in case you're importing it into like different things that require less less than what you've put in. Um, but for now, we're just gonna leave that all the same. I'm gonna click export. Um, that brings up this this VRM sittings. Um <laughs> when she's sad her ears turn pink. <laughs> don't don't tell smile. <laughs> Do not tell smile. Um, now that will be all we hear. <laughs> um, so we can set a name, we can set the author, we can set any contact information or references that we want to add, um, and we can set the version. This is more for if you were like selling your model, or if you were... Um... I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I really need to sneeze. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I'm okay. <laughs> If you, this is more for if you're selling your model, you can sort of set, you know, the licenses and things. Uh, you can allow them to be used in like violence, sexual acts, and uh, you can use, allow it for commercial use, etc. Um, because I'm, this is my model, I'm not going to like put it up anywhere. I don't have to bother with any of this stuff. So I've just put Summer Ferret, the author is Ferret, and the version is 1.1. Because this is the first version. So we export this. And I will export it. Uh, it's taking me to my files, and I will export it into Ferret current models and I'll put it into experimental because she's an experiment at the moment um until we know she works correctly and her ears aren't pink <laughs> we we can we'll deal so now we have exported ferret as a vrm file this is what most um <laughs> most of your uh, sort of face capture software 
uses. So let's go back over to just chatting. So now you could just export in the import that directly into your face capture software if you wanted to. And I'm just gonna bring myself down a bit because I'm I'm feeling a bit too tall. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, but yes, you can import that directly into your face capture software, and you can basically just go. You, you're ready. You've got a 3D model. You're ready to go. However, I to close down Fury Studio and I am going to open Unity. Now, <laughs> it all gets very complicated here, <laughs> honestly. It's all, it all, you, you can get very lost very quickly. Um, but Unity is a great software for editing your VRM model, adding different bits and bobs that you want to add on and adjusting stuff like your blend shapes. Um, that wasn't the complicated part. Oh no, that was the easy part. Now we get to the complicated part. You're opening a Unity. <laughs> You're opening a software that people make games in. I know, right? Crazy. So I'm gonna just open up my project while I'm here. I think it's project six. <laughs> I don't, I, I once again have not named any of my Unity projects. <laughs> Because of course, why name things when you can just you know remember <laughs> what what they are? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna grab Unity and I'm gonna go back over to here, so I can adjust it. Um, and we'll uh, once once Unity has loaded, I'll uh, I'll grab it up. Um, but yes, this is where we get into complicated things. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> I know. Me? Name things? No. Um, Unity... Are you loading? Excuse me, Unity. Can you load? <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be classic for Unity to just decide to not load now. Um, oh, no, there it is. It just took a time. It, 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 it took a while. Um, there's a new u version of Unity to install. Yeah, well, I'm using the 2019 version. <laughs> so... I'm, I'm sure there's probably many new versions of Unity for me to install. Um, can I grab Unity? Nope. Nope, I can't. <laughs> that is interesting. Okay, we're gonna have to grab, I guess, Display Capture. And we'll grab Display Capture and you'll be able to see everything and that's a bit weird, but that's fine. All right, I should be able to switch over to this now. All right, so here's my Unity. <laughs> and it may look a bit different than what people are perhaps familiar with. Um, so for Unity, you can't just import your VRM model um, straight into Unity because Unity, not a fan of that. Um, instead, you're gonna have to download, <laughs> welcome to the famous depots, exactly. And here's all my current ferret models all in a line. <laughs> <laughs> um so here here i've imported all of them apart from like original witch ferret uh, ymca <laughs> um this is uh my metopia model that i'm working on at the moment um oh ferret, i had a question you i wanted to ask Ooh, ask away go ahead um so this is the metopia one that we will have for for the metopia streams um She's got she's got the double braid, which is interesting. And I've worked on that. Also, loving the pirate look, by the way. Oh yes, here we have Pirate Ferret, used for the uh, Sea of Thieves streams. Um then we have like N7 Ferret, who's gonna be uh just gonna be used real soon for uh for Mass Effect. It's coming out this week. Well, <laughs> it's coming out on Friday. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um then we have just obviously casual ferret, which I'm using here. So got to install the plugin called UniVRM. Uh, you can search the web or um, <laughs> or find it this week. <laughs> Just, oh God, yeah. <clears throat> yes, Goatman Games, what, what was your question? Uh, are, you, are you asking it? Um, I'm happy to answer any questions uh, about, about anything really. Um, so here we have UniVRM and this is how we import. So we click import and it'll take me to this. And instead I'm gonna to go to ferret, I'm gonna to go to current, I'm gonna to go to experimental and I'm gonna import summer ferret. 
but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to grab it from... Uh... <laughs> it's an educational stream after all. Exactly. Ask questions. Ask away. I'm going to open my folders and import it instead this way. Now I have actually inside my Unity project named everything correctly. So um, here we have models and I've put all my models in one folder because it makes sense, right? And they're named to what they are because otherwise things get very complicated. So we're going to name this Summer Ferret. So there we go. There we have it. Folder for Summer Ferret. I'm just going to basically drag and drop. So I'm going to find Summer Ferret in my folders and I'm going to drag and drop Summer Ferret into Summer Ferret and that will import Summer Ferret in. Um, where is the teacher model ferret? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Should I have a teacher model? Um, Unity's going to load for a bit. Uh, it takes a while and obviously I, I apparently cannot like minimize my folder while that's happening. Um, would you be interested in a Minecraft collaboration? I want to start a little a series with a, a few people. Ooh, interesting. I've had, <laughs> I've had, I've had a fair few collaboration requests. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what's going on with anyone, any of them. Um, but I mean, Minecraft, I, I'd be interested. Uh, though I do have very limited time. It's basically when you see me, me streaming, that's that's my free time. <laughs> um, so yeah uh i we, we can have a chat about it but it may be the if you're in a different time zone or anything like that or you have free time that is <laughs> while i'm working it may not work but i'm always down to like chat about collaborations and things i'd never i'd never say no you're on the front page quick get the get the naked body up <laughs> get the feet on <laughs> oh god Oh dear, I'm on the front page. I'm gonna... Am I? Let's have a look. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Here everyone sees my unity. <laughs> it's a good job that the front page doesn't particularly mean much for now. Um... <laughs> um okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> thank you for keeping an eye on that for me, Barris. <laughs> it's, it's good, it's good. We don't have anything weird going on. So, right, we've imported some 